Uh, Rob G., let's jump in because the Golden State Warriors and Draymond Green, uh, the NBA boogeyman or bad guy, I don't know what, what what's the right term, he always seems to be in the news for doing things that uh, aren't in the league rules. Uh, that includes last night. He was Im- imitating a WWE wrestler, I think. <laughs> Yeah, that's to put it mildly. It all started when Clay Thompson and Jaden McDaniels of the Timberwolves got into a little scuffle on the court during the Warriors T Wolves game. And in the video, if you watch the clip online, you'll see that Rudy Gobert looks like he's kind of pulling Clay Thompson off of him or off of his teammate. Draymond Green comes flying in from midcourt with a reverse chokehold. And not only does he lock in the chokehold, he drags Gobert another 10 to 12 feet. In the opposite direction. Obviously, it led to him getting ejected. A suspension is likely coming. However, as has been the case throughout most of his career, Steve Kerr still found a way to defend his mercurial power forward. Take a listen. Should have been ejected. That was ridiculous. So I was upset about that. And then uh, the Draymond piece of it, um, if you watch the replay, Rudy had his uh, hands on Clay's neck. And that's why Draymond went after Rudy. Steve, Steve Kerr, I, I mean, I always, I, I thought Steve Kerr was like level headed, <laughs> like really like this guy who was thoughtful and uh, appreciated the good things in life. And you know what I mean? And pointed out the bad things in life. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to Draymond Green, he loses all objectivity. And when I think I found, finally realized that Steve Kerr isn't the guy that I thought he was when Draymond Green went unpunished for sucker punching a teammate in, in Jordan Poole. And yeah, yeah. the reason they didn't want to suspend him is because they didn't want Draymond to miss the ring ceremony for the opener. That Really? <laughs> if you would have punched Steph Curry out, do you think that would have happened? No I way. I mean, yeah. come on, man. Like, like that is just the, what, what they did. And then they blamed uh, – uh, they, 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 bl- they didn't blame Draymond. They blamed uh, Monty Poole, right? It's his fault. Yeah, Jordan Poole. Jordan, Monty yeah. Poole's the, the, the writer up there. But you know what I mean. Uh, so, so in this case, again, Draymond, the reason Draymond is who Draymond is is because the Warriors have been enablers. They have been, uh, they're driving their alcoholic uncle home and he has to stop <laughs> off at the liquor store and they pull over. I mean, how many times – you remember the last time he got suspended by the NBA, and I think Joe Dumars uh, in the league office said it was because of his priors. You know what I mean? Because his, he has a laundry list of priors. Yeah. How many times, Kerry, are they going to keep doing this? I get it. They want to put – that Draymond's a unique player. He's helped them win championships over and over and over. But at some point, he's hurt this team. Mm-hmm. The reason that they didn't probably didn't beat the Cavaliers when the Cavaliers came back from the 3-1 deficit because Draymond kicked LeBron in the groin, right, and yeah. got suspended. Yeah, yeah. Now, the reason that they probably didn't win a couple more championships when Kevin Durant was there because he undressed Kevin Durant on the court yeah. and called him the B word and Kevin Durant bounced when he could have stayed in Golden State. Yeah. I mean, what, what is it, Kerry? What am I missing? Yeah, are they enabling 100%? But you got to remember, Robin, you know this. I mean, you're a historian. Steve Kerr, what's his background, right? And I love Steve Kerr, but he came from a team that had a guy similar to Draymond Green on his team and Dennis Rodman, correct? So he knows how, you know, Phil Jackson handled that situation. Rodman was allowed to do some things on that team that normal guys wouldn't do, right? And that's just, that's a fact, I mean, he would let him go off to Vegas and, and clear his mind while the team was practicing. I mean, during the play, I mean, during the playoffs. So like stuff like that is part of Steve Kerr's DNA. They rewarded this guy after he came out and said that obviously the punch affected the team last year, right? They reward him with a contract. So are they enabling him? Yes. But the back- They allowed us got to do a podcast during the playoffs I mean, last a, year. Doing the podcast after games and probably do one while he's suspended. And, and, and you know, it's just that's part of what it is. But again, like I said, his DNA is and what he saw, I mean, from, from a player and from a player perspective as he was young when he was coming up, he saw Phil Jackson be lenient with Dennis Rodman, right? So that's their Dennis Rodman. He's a guy that does a lot for that team to help them win. And yes, he's going to cost you sometimes as well. And that's just part of 
I guess, the plus minus in, in, in the analytic days these days, you know, that's Draymond Green for them. I, I just – I don't understand it. I hear you. I, I really don't. Yeah. I, I, I get it. Yep. Uh, he He's helped you. Yep. But he's hurt you a bit – like – like a lot. He's hurt you a lot. Yeah. And I just gave you running Kevin Durant out of the Bay Area. Yep. I mean, it, you can say whatever you want. That's why Kevin Durant left. Yep. Am I right? Like that, I agree, that, yeah. There's no doubt about that. Right. Uh, the, the, the only team that choked down a 3-1 to one lead in NBA history. Golden State Warriors, thank you, Draymond Green. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, he probably had a big part in doing that. He knew he was uh, at his limit with technicals, and he kicks LeBron in the groin. Like, like why? Yeah, he's not. A, I, I just. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Rob. No, he's, he's, just, he's such an emotional player, right? I mean, because obviously he is a smart guy, and we know that. We, we hear him speak when he's out. He, very well-spoken, very smart, very aware. But when his emotions get the best of him, He's one of the worst people, <laughs> one of the worst people out there. And so, again, what value is that to your team, to your organization? Obviously, they think it's you know worth a hundred something million, whatever he got paid in the off season. And you know, it's it's enabling that his finest. But you know, we can go back and forth of what his value is to that team and 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 what he's done for that team in the past. But this particular thing right here was definitely personal and something he had with Rudy Gobert. Yeah, and I and and Rob G, come back because. Steve Kerr was making the point that Rudy was choking yeah. Clay, but that but we couldn't really see that. Could you see it on the video? I mean, our guest in the hour three, Brian Geltzeller from SiriusXM, he maintains that he can see Gobert clearly instigating something with Clay. In the videos I've seen, it doesn't look like he's choking him. It looks like he's kind of grabbing him around the chest area, like yeah. he's really trying to pull him away. No, he but was doing the, he, the Heimlich maneuver. He right. thought that uh, <laughs> Clay was in trouble. Yeah, you know, everyone loves Clay. So, no, in the videos I saw, it did not look anything like a, a choking gesture from Gobert on Clay Thompson. And, and, and the Warriors, I'll tell you this too the Warriors should be more loved from NBA America, and they aren't. And Draymond's another part of that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they, like all that they've accomplished, carry their teams that you look at and you go, man, I like, like, like you love that team. That's a dynasty, or you know what I mean. And look at that team and how it was put together and how those players. And and then there's Draymond, who just makes you hard to want to see that team win. Yeah, it just, it just he he's that kind of guy. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I think. You know what's crazy? I think in the first part of that run, when they had the first run prior to Kevin Durant, I think they were more liked. I think, uh, you know, Draymond Green, he was still hungry. Because he was a second-round draft exactly, pick. Exactly, yep. exactly. So there was some, you know, some some beauty in what they did, and it was homegrown. It was talent. It was, you know, their draft their draft picks that were getting them to the, over the top and over the hump, and, you know, they had their adversity. I mean, even with Steph Curry at that time, we didn't even know if he was going to be able to play, right? Like he kept having those injuries. And so you got to see them take that ride, and we took that ride with them. And Steph, on, you know, Steph Curry was that, you know, that, that American dream, right? The guy that can't jump high, the guy that's not tall, not really big, not super athletic, that, you know, got his team over the hump. And then now the shenanigans with Draymond just kind of ruins all of that. Yeah, there's just so much here. And, uh, you know, the league, they, they, ha they have a uh, – you know, a, a blotter on Draymond because you just can't, and I and and people should say, well, well, you can't uh, like in, in a, worry about what happened before, and it shouldn't count. Y yes, yeah. the league has to look at if if you get in trouble, Kerry, the first time, the league looks and say, this guy never Kerry never gets in trouble. Yeah. So this this is a mistake. He made a mistake, and we'll be lenient with him because we understand that this guy is not an issue. Yeah. But the more and more you go to see the principal, the more and more they got to come down harder on you because you haven't learned your lesson. And I do blame the Warriors. The Warriors are to blame. The NBA has done some stuff, suspended them, but the Warriors continue. I still think the, the Jordan Poole thing might be one of the worst things I've ever seen where a guy was able to do what he did and not pay any consequence. They wouldn't even call it a suspension. You know what they said? Dray Draymond stepped away from the team. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even say he got suspended by the team. Draymond took some time away from the team. Dray or did you suspend him? Which one was it? Right. Uh, right. But they didn't even want that out there. So